This is where I also suspect the hips. When I'm here, and now you get to guys who get to watch my tush, my trochanter, even with femoral torsion, can guide where I am, right? It's almost like a foot. And a good trochanter, good pelvis, right, should have that. So a lot of times what you're hearing, hips are fine because the hip socket is okay. That doesn't mean that the hip length is. So when the kids go straight in coxabalga, right, they don't have access to that trochanter. So again, I have to get in a certain position on my elbows and roll over that way, right? And I can't control that because I don't have that trochanter. This is where I teach them a lot of my trainings, the midline basis of the trochanter, it goes on back of knees, all those kind of things that really get overlooked in a lot of modalities because it's so important to movement. Now, to answer Irene's question, I'll get it that, that a child might be considered too severe to deal with coxa valga. I'm not saying every child should go out and have hip surgery. However, you do have to take those accommodations in when you're working. They need much softer feet. They much needs much softer rib cage because so the rib cage can sort of do what the trochanter can't or the feet can do what the trochanter can't. And that's where you play into that. So, so when you're dealing, see even this, I can ride and go off my trochanter. That's what brings me up to sitting, right? And those kind of movements that go on. That's what gives me my head control. Right? I'm not lifting my head to do any of these movements, right? I'm riding off of, of stuff that goes off my pelvis. When you're dealing with those kind of things, the structure is important. It doesn't mean you can change the structure. It's not about dealing with your weakness or forgetting your weakness. It's being able to play with that and, and to participate. Through children, you have to talk to them through this, through all for movement. You can't say, hey, listen, you don't have a right trochanter. It's off a little bit. Let's go. That's just not the conversation. You have to start showing their movements. So in your case, that's what I'd be looking at. I still can give you a better answer if I had the hip x-rays.